Yep, that was me five months ago and this is me today. Stick around and learn how I lost over 20 kgs. <music>
all right so watch the video and i'll see you on the next one hey guys i don't know exactly where to look into this camera i have not used my phone to vlog in forever i used to use my camera but i find it easier to use my phone anyway uh today i'm going to talk about a journey i've been on and uh i think this is going to be in the middle of my update forgive me if you hear the same thing over and over again and that is my weight loss journey through gastric balloon insertion gastric balloon is a new it's not a new method it's actually a method that has been there for many years and it's meant for people who qualify and so not everybody qualifies you can be too underweight or overweight and the people who qualify for gastric balloon uh, have a bmi of between 30 one and 40. i'll check that again if i'm wrong i'm going to insert it here all right so i decided to join this journey because of a weight gain that i was losing control over and i know my eating habits had changed because of some medication i had been on for quite a while and this is anxiety medication and I found myself eating more than I should. I found myself eating later than I should. So I could eat very well during the day, drink my water, but then after I take my pill at night, cause it's a sleeping pill, I would just get this case of munchies and I would raid the kitchen every day. So I didn't realize how harmful it was until I just kept ballooning, 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 and I'm like, what's going on? Because I was working out, I was literally doing everything I was supposed to do, but I needed to beat this monster. So that's when I came across Nairobi Bariatric, and they, uh, we started off with detox, and then I told them, I'm so desperate. Uh, literally, I saw them today, and then they weighed me after a month. They weighed me today, then they weighed me after a month, and I had added four kgs and i was like i don't know what's happening if i keep adding a kg each each week i'm going to freaking blow over literally so for a girl like me i, I am 168 centimeters tall that is five six i know to a lot of people i appear so gigantic and so big but i'm actually just an average height girl in fact in some countries i'll be short like a Netherlands, I would be a short girl, but for 168 centimeters girl, I've always been of a slight build, I've never been a big girl. So, even when I was at my heaviest with my last born son, I only weighed 83 kgs. But by the time I was going for this gastric balloon, I was weighing 94 kgs. Scary, right? and uh, that meant that my bmi had shot up to 33 where else the normal bmi should be below 25 and above 18. anyway why i chose this procedure uh, so let me also elaborate something a uh, small gastric balloon is different from allurion or all these other new names you're hearing this particular one needs a gastro gastronomy basically it needs to be inserted so you have to be put under anesthesia for about 20 minutes they insert wake up and then you're good to go uh, this one in particular can last up to eight months uh, but it depends on how fast you lose your weight so between the recommended time is between four and eight months and within that time usually you achieve your goal which is losing 15 percent off of your weight 15 percent like in my case could have meant around 13 kgs or so however as we speak i've already lost about 12 kgs but i have another 12 to go so that i'm able to reach my normal bmi but on top of that i still want to lose another five so very determined and um, I think the idea is to keep you posted, uh, but I'm doing this video a bit too late, meaning I'm doing it four weeks after insertion. But the truth is, I don't think I was in a position to do anything because I've been so weak, so sick. It has not really liked me in as much as, yes, it's working. This balloon has not liked me. It's, it's, 
I feel pregnant. I feel like I have a difficult pregnancy, but I feel like, uh, and I understand because the, the, the team at Nairobi Bariatric is so supportive. They call, they check up on you. If you feel like ranting, they do so. They just take care of you. So what has happened is I've been able to sit, uh, to keep working with them and hearing about the mistakes I could possibly be making, especially because you do not eat the same way, you do not drink the same way. So you have to take only 150 milli milliliters or grams of food uh, three times a day and you sip water all throughout the day, but they never tell you so many things, but that is because different bodies react differently. Like I said, just like a pregnancy, the way someone will have a smooth one, another person like me is having a difficult one. And I feel like my pregnancies are revenging because I had the best pregnancies. But this one, this make a balloon, make a pregnancy, is not working. It's been so rough. And so literally I've been hiding away from everyone because I don't have energy or strength to do much. And uh, I feel like it's been, it's a small sacrifice though. If honestly someone can tell you, you can lose a certain amount of weight within a certain time, you can do it. Neither is exercise and dieting easy. Uh, it needs a lot of commitment and all that. But it doesn't mean that I shouldn't exercise and be on a proper diet. Once I start getting my energy back now, I want to hit the gym. I want to tone up. In as much as I'm so lucky that even with my weight loss, my skin has stayed very intact. Other than I have very dry skin, which never happens to me. Uh, my skin has been amazing. I look at my stomach, it doesn't look bad. I look at my inner thighs, they look really good uh, because my weight was pretty new. It just came life, like it's going. So I didn't wait for it to go too far. So in terms of food, I'm still pretty much on pureed foods. So let me break it down to you. The minute you insert the balloon, you are on IV fluids for three days. Then you start taking clear fluids, uh, that is soups, uh, apple juice, diluted apple juice, water, uh, for another, they say three to seven days. And then you start introducing pureed foods like a baby, just like a baby. Think of a baby taking milk and starting introducing solids. So you have to retrain yourself. But why I am, as of now, I'm still in between the three the clear liquids so i take my soup and this is one of the side effects of having a balloon you belch a lot you hiccup a lot because it's sitting right here and there's also acidity anyway that's story for another day i'll tell you all the side effects but uh forgive my belching all the time uh, i try to take a solid in the morning a puree in the afternoon and a liquid in the evening because uh of the nausea every day I'm up by four five and I just throw up but that's just me it's just how it's taking me um, I'm thirsty a lot and the only thing I want to take is cold frozen water this particular one is sparkling water and I'm unable to take it slowly and I think that has been my greatest catastrophe because you're supposed to take a sip slowly Wait for five minutes, take another sip. Maureen has no patience because I'm so thirsty. I just wanted to go inside and it goes down my throat. The water. And uh, so I struggle with that and I feel like uh, that's what I've been happening. I take so much for first, hence uh, my nausea. I'm working on that. Uh, and uh, I think from here onwards, I'll just keep you posted. I will attach a before picture a during which is now and an after picture wish me luck in the journey guys but i'll keep you posted on everything uh and nairobi bariatric has been uh, such a good support system i do psychotherapy every saturday just to engage my relationship with food and and my relationship with food has changed it has changed yeah some those are some of the updates uh thank you and i'll keep you posted oh subscribe if you haven't and also comment and let's keep the community going how we started